Okay, the helicopter controls are awful. Uh, this is a game about playing as India during the 1971 war. Good morning, gentlemen. You must know there is an increasing political tension between the East and West Pakistan, which has ultimately created a warlike situation. Your objective is to create a naval blockade near the South Bay of Bengal in order to keep an eye on enemy ship movements and incapacitate them. You are also advised to watch your movements and inspect the region, considering enemy ships patrolling your position too. We have to safeguard Indian borders and also our sovereignty. It's made by someone who very clearly cares about their country's history, right? Now, it could be 100% like biased and like this is totally not how the 1971 war went i have no idea i can't really know what the actual like you know situations in 1971 was but i think it's a oh that was very cool by the way i think it's a fascinating little like a look at a war that i otherwise would never see you know is this like that syrian warfare game and uh, very obviously propaganda or is this different again i don't actually know i i can't say because I don't know enough about this war to recognize what is propaganda and what really happened kind of thing. Woo! <laughs> so there's actual, you know, fighter combat in this game. Here we go. Let me zoom down here and buzz my boys. Now, it's a very interesting control system because watch this. All right. <laughs> So, so this is actually the moment that convinced me to play the game. Oh my god. Uh, you can turn on a dime if you have enough mouse control, see? As long as I have sufficient mouse area to move my mouse, the plane just fucking spins. So our first Pakistani patrol boat. Oh. Hit. Oh, got it. See, but you can, you can kind of pull off very late into the, uh into those things. HIT THOSE DAMN PT BOATS! Woo! Watch this. Ha ha! Oh, that's awesome. The use of the battle station specific engine is interesting. Surprise, wait. wait, this is actually battle station specific? Really? Oh, you do actually have third person control in battle stations. Oh, okay. Fire a torpedo at the international border. I know it's not gonna hit anything, but you know, you've gotta try. Oh, I like that I get like a little marker showing me where the torpedoes are. Hello, Pakistani boat. Please die. This is reporting. Cheers to your success today and let's remain vigilant. That was literally the whole mission was just one or <laughs> two ships to kill. Uh, I mean, I reckon we can probably get through the game in a single stream. I don't know. It kind of it kind of scratches that like weird indie game itch I get sometimes. Same reason I played Astra uh, the game Straya. I sure can't wait to see the submarine, shoot it, have it sink instantly, and then the mission is over and we go to the next mission. <laughs> Each mission we fight a singular boat. I don't trust that any of these are gonna hit, but I think it'd be very funny to shoot them with torpedoes. There we go. Nice full spread. That's the only way I'll ever hit this bastard. Hey, buddy. Hey, have you seen have you seen torpedoes? I think they're coming your way. Oh, am I actually gonna nail him? Oh my god! I fucking hit him with like three! Oh no, I hit him with two. Wait, no, 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 I hit him with yeah, I hit him with three. Ha! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe I nailed him blind like that. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, it was East Pakistan at this point. I do know about that part of this war. Oh, I see. This is them taking pictures of the fucking... Right, okay. <laughs> oh, the map is interesting. I like that you can see they've just modeled the mountains on the coast and then they gave up when it went inland. <laughs> Look at that. Ugh. Okay. All right, the bombing thing is not very accurate either. Like where it says the bombs are gonna land is not true. <laughs> Why did the bomb you released last explode first? Such a good point. Okay, that didn't even get close to hitting the target. I guess I'm just gonna do this now. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, uh, turns out, turns out there is a hitbox in the middle of those buildings. I'm gonna try and drop all my bombs and see if it gives me more. I know it probably won't. It doesn't. Oh, I hit something. Yeah! 
Yes, I actually hit shit that time. Wow, you have to be really low and close. <laughs> this is ace combat at home. And I'm gonna try and go in like this. Aha, yes. This'll work. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Look at how laser accurate those fucking AA guys were when I started dying. How slow can I go before I stall, I wonder? Oh, okay, the, the, the anti-air fire is getting surprisingly accurate at long range when I'm this slow. But that should give me plenty of time. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. My favorite part of the 1971 war was when a single prop plane with eight bombs and infinite ammo showed up to wipe out a Pakistani airbase. Three OSA class missile boats moved deep into enemy. Oh, wait, this is a. Uh... I think the operations room did a video on this one. Man, this boat kind of goes, though. This boat goes quick. Holy shit, he's pulling 40 knots. To lock a missile to a particular target and press E, it'll change to that. Fire missile towards locked target. Oh my god, okay. We got limited oh! Time. Your and blow oh, that's actually oh. awesome! I switched between boats! That's fucking cool. Alright, let's go. Radar is on. Fire. Can I hit this one? Fire. God, they are really traveling. Look at them go. Oh! Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool as hell. Let's take out an oil tank. Let's take out the base HQ. Venus Challenger. Kaiba. Okay. The Far East oil tank. And the comm station. You know, I think we may have wiped out everything. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, okay, I'll give it to him that the audio for this game has been pretty fucking shit, but uh, the audio on this is surprisingly good. Wait, I'm playing as a land installation in this one? Okay, I love this game. That's so fucking stupid. No! <laughs> this is actually a fucking turret segment! Oh my god! This is Indian Pearl Harbor. I kind of love finding out about wars like this that, you know, that aren't the traditional ones just because of the weird arrays of equipment that you end up seeing. Like, this is me using a World War II fucking naval anti-air gun against modern fucking camera bombers. Also, I think we've hit the point of complete ridiculousness. Because not only are these enemy jets not actually shooting at me properly, uh, but I definitely think this is the biggest fucking, like this is bigger than the Pakistani Air Force has ever been, the amount of bombers I've shot down now. Please. No! Yes! Oh God, finally! Cargo ships carrying arms have started from the narrow rivers of Kulnia and Mongla and uh, moving towards the bases in East Pakistan. Use your Elise aircraft armed with torpedoes to knock them out. Okay. Fuck yeah, let's go torpedo some merchant ships. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let's go! All right, let's go target this thing first. It's nice and close. Make the turn. Fuck me, these guys are moving quick. Holy shit. How fast? How fast is the merchant ship going? Holy fuck. Yeah, this ship is hauling ass. All right, go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's, that's not even close to hitting. Oh, okay, it's not even close to hitting. They are going stupidly fast. All right, let me just uh, drop it like that. <laughs> That works. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be no restrictions on just like hot dropping uh, torpedoes. Excellent. I'm going to drop them all like that then. Okay. Like this. Drop. No! 
No! No! That is moving so quickly! I think he's picking up speed, actually. Let me try this. <laughs> Did that work? That worked! Dun 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 dun! I'm just gonna drop it on the ship. What? What? Huh? Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> yes, Digby, I think that's what's happening here. I think they pick up speed throughout the mission and they just don't have a top speed, so I think they just go infinitely faster. See? Like that! Uh, please! You're shitting me! Oh, beautiful. Alright. Come on, here we go. Woo! All right. I, hold on. Is there a restart mission? I mean, I know how to restart missions, right? I have to try. Oh, God. It's even hard to hit these things at fucking point blank. They're that slow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. No. So you can do friendly fire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that artillery? Holy shit. I think, I think that's artillery from the shore. All right. That's kind of fucking awesome, actually. I'm bracketing a fucking bunker. Please! There we go. No, why can I hit RuneScape? Hold on. RuneScape, I'm busy. Oh, shit! <laughs> well. Hold on. I'm going to put you onto stationary. I think because I'm in manual control of both of these things. Hold on. Shut up, RuneScape! I'm busy! Come on. Woo! All right. Uh, space bar to start engine. W and S to lift the chopper up and down. A and D to uh, your left and right. Roll, pitch. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. The helicopter controls are awful. Yes. Okay. No! Stop! Stop! Oh my god! These controls are so fucked. No. Okay, forwards. Okay, first of all, it's the exact opposite of the way that you would expect it to be. You know, you go forwards to go down. I mean, I, I have no, like, camera control easily. Oh, fuck. Okay. So you can clearly see how, like, I'm moving. Okay, imagine that the, the, imagine the rotors of the helicopter are the prop of the, uh, the prop plane. That's how this controls. I've flown a real helicopter, and it was easier to control than this. Anyway, no, so the biggest thing about, like, flying a real chopper is... Oh, God, fuck, I can't even... God, these controls are so shit. Escape to base. All right. Let's see if I can do a turn in this thing. Um, but no, the way that a real, uh, real chopper works is, like, so much more sensitive than you could possibly imagine. You don't even have to move the stick. You think about moving the stick, and your slight pressure on the stick was enough to move it. Very sensitive, you know. There we go. Jesus Christ. Somehow that was one of the hardest missions yet, and there wasn't a single bit of combat involved in it. Why can the enemy ships move like that? Okay, no, this is this is the new mission. Okay. Are we just using the same plan twice? <laughs> Okay, we have one missile boat and two frigates. They are flying literally overhead of us. I don't know how they don't see us, but you know what? That's fine. Boop. 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 Mario will tank. Nice. All right, well, we're done. Boom, boom, boom. So now this is the coolest part of the mission is using these missiles. They're fucking awesome. Now, if only they could be used in a mission that was not just, like, a completely set-pieced and scripted, you know, and would actually, like, involve me using them intelligently. That was really- that was the second mission with the exact same design where you roll up and you missile the port and then you leave. Two missions where that's all that happens. All right, we have five missions left. Let's see what we're cooking with. Anti-sub warfare, the lone surviving submarine, Hangor, is reported to be in Indian waters. Surface to surface combat is not an option here. An anti-submarine warfare chopper is commissioned. Now, that's cool. However, the problem here is that it's a chopper. Oh, enemy torpedo in the water. 
Fish in the water. God, I have to keep myself from falling into the water as well. If I don't keep pressing W, the helicopter naturally wants to fall into the ocean. Yeah, if you'd moved, maybe you could have avoided it, dumbass. Okay. He is directly to my north right now. <gasps> there he is! There he is! There he is! There he is! Yes! No! Fuck! I hit him too! I can see him, by the way. If you look at the, the water, there is a clear outline of a submarine moving through the ocean. I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see that through Twitch compression, but there is actually a submarine's outline. Oh, he just turned. Die. Uh. I'm worried because I don't. Those are the planes? No, no, they aren't. Those are the surface vessels. See, you can very clearly see those are the surface vessels. I'm worried because I'm afraid of planes. Just like, oh, oh. okay. What the fuck? I, how am I meant to shoot this fucker down? Genuinely. Oh! Like that, apparently? Huh? Okay, thankfully the enemy bombers seem to do no fucking damage, so that works out. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Oh my god, okay, we did it. The PNS mold. What a strange. It's the penis mold. What the. What a strange ship name. I've just looked at the rockets. Do you guys see a problem with this? I don't think that's how they mounted aircraft rockets. I don't think it was mounted solely on the tail fin. Woo! Alright. Wait, let's see if this jet can do the spinny thing too. It can! Excellent! Alright, I am now going incredibly slowly. Oh yeah, no, look at this. I am actually starting to stall now. I have to go really slowly to stall though. I can kind of just hover like this. Look at this. Let me hit those trucks. Oh, I can blow up the trucks. Nice. This is very silly. <laughs> You guys, you guys like drifting down on the enemy base using a glider? Excuse me. I figured, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't done enough, so maybe I could help out a little more. Onslaught. Destroy all targets on port and base with 50% HP. There you go. It's crazy how it shows him having wingmen in this fucking cutscene. Where were my wingmen? Please finish him. Assassin, terminate Zulkfear. These guys fighting even a single shot? Yeah, just kind of uselessly into the water in front of them. Another reason why this game is not very good is it's not even remotely challenging most of the time. The challenge is more the controls than anything. Oh, yep, yeah, we hit one. We may actually nail all three enemy ships here. We may not even need the other fucking destroyer. Hold on. Okay, evaded. Farewell. If this is actually the last mission, that is going to be so sad. That was the fucking ending. That's it, boys. We've done it. We have taken control over the eastern command of enemy naval forces. The news from the ground and air are also similar. Our forces are now deep inside the enemy territory. Uh, we'll soon be hearing announcement of the ceasefire very soon. There is, uh, it is now evident that an instrument of surrender will be signed and an independent nation will be formed. You have uh, played a very vital role in this war and your e efforts will always be remembered in our history. Yai Hindi. All right. Now here is the prologue, I have to assume. That's verbatim from Wikipedia? Really? No shit, link it. Uh, on the, uh, December 1971, the Pakistanis signed the instrument of surrender uh, they also received naval surrender from the flag officer. Sharif surrendered his TT pistol to the vice admiral saying, Soon, sir, I will be disarmed. Your navy fought magnificently and- Fucking Christ! Send me the Wikipedia page. Uh, Sharif surrendered his TT pistol to Krishnan at the 1631 hours saying, Admiral Krishnan, sir, soon I will be disarmed. Oh, hang on, there's a spider in my screen. 
die, spider. Uh, Suno be disarmed. Your navy fought magnificently and had us cornered everywhere. There is no one I would like to surrender my arms to other than the commander and the chief of the Eastern Fleet. The TT pistol is still in a covered glass display at the Indian uh, Military Academy's museum. All right. Thank you all for watching, fellas. I'm going to leave it here for today. That has been 1971 Indian Naval Front.